Hello Gamer, JL back again and we're looking at Commodore Amiga desktop this is a 3.9 workbench and I've disabled the dock bar from starting because it gets in the blooming way now I've just bought a couple of things from Amiga kit I've bought this this is a network card and it's a Freecom device it's a Freecom and it's a uh, 3CX E589 ET card and with it you get the drivers and you also get an EasyNet CD now I've got no CD-ROM connected to my Amiga so what I did was just copy the files over to the com a compact flash card and read them that way so what we're going to do now is we're going to actually go online on the Amiga and look at a website and do some downloading. We're also going to look at a telnet and we're going to watch a movie as well whilst well, being connected to the internet. So first thing says we need to go to the work partition or whatever you've installed it. I've installed all the software, I've done all the configuration, and we've got AWeb 3 SE, AMI TCP IP, iBrowse, which is our web browser, and Telnet, which is our Telnet client, there's another Telnet client that I was just testing. So I'm going to go to AMI TCP IP and you'll see the EasyNet icon there and if I double click EasyNet and press the question mark this is where we configure it. Now configuration is quite simple so 192.168.1.110 that's my Amiga's IP address 255.255.255.0 that's the net mark address network mask address and 192.168.11 is the IP gateway which is the address of my router and Amiga's a host name and btbroadband.com is who I'm with, my broadband supplier and if I press configure DNS that's just a case of sticking in your IP your router again now what I'm going to do is push online it will say going online and it should say accessing live update server it tells me there's a download available to update the software so I'm going to push update later and we are now online on the Amiga so what we're going to look at is first if we go to iBrowse which is the web browser no I actually prefer this to AWeb myself because AWeb kept complaining about Need a cookie for this, need a cookie for that, send a cookie for this, send a cookie for that. So I'll use this one. And we are going to go to, well, I'm just going to push that one. S A S G Amiga. Um, oh, something, let's have a look what it says. It, do, it does tell us. They are standardized Amiga shareware group. And if we scroll down. You'll see MUI, Magic User Interface, MCX, DFA, whatever they all are. And we can do that one. We can also go to a web address. I'll type in. I've already done it actually. www.amynet.net. And this place is where you get all your Amiga files from and libraries and anything else you may need. So this is AmiNet. And it says latest package is last 14 days. So we have a look, and the last one was created oh, yesterday, uh, 15th, 2nd of 2nd, 2015. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to download something. So I'm going to download Power Amiga 5 Zip. I'm just going to click it, and it's going to ask me where I want to save it. I want to save it to my RAM disk. The reason we save it there, you can save it anywhere you want, and we save it there. Because we can install it from there, and when you reboot, it's uh, the, install, um, the download is gone to save the space. So completed. You see, it's gone up there. And I'm actually downloading on the Amiga. So let's give it time. There we go. That's the download finished. So I can go. So I've got also eyebrows. Eyebrows dev .net. Our development site for eyebrows. And scroll down, you can see what's on there. 
because my browser is still in development apparently I think for um, Amiga OS 4 I could be wrong though and let's just try IO Spirit right, it's an old browser so it's probably not, it's not found right so if I quit the um, eyebrows and we go to the RAM disk you'll see nothing's there but if I show all files you'll see there's the insert uh, there's a program that I downloaded and I can double click that and unzip it place it where I want to place it and find out what it is if I was to go on the amulet I can do um click it and I can view the contents and it'll tell me more about it, how to install it, that sort of stuff. So what we're going to look at now, we're going to go on a, a program called Telnet. So go to the internet and we'll go to DC Telnet. And there we go, it's recognised my processor, kickstart version and AMI TCP IP release 3. It's recognised my TP stack, so I'm going to push connect and I'm going to type in telehack. It's hacks.com, I think. Push OK. Might try to try tell you hack. Let's try tell you hack.com. There we go. So now it says I'm connected to telehack port 54. Now across here, I can push the info button, it tells me all about it, the IP address, that sort of stuff. And it says I've been online for seven seconds. This is the address book. I can make an address book so I don't have to type it in every time, I can just go to address book and click it and I can upload and download obviously disconnect disconnects me from this site so what I'm going to type in is this E L I Z A Eliza I think that says enter it says hello I'm Eliza you can talk back to it do you normally convey your secrets to a stranger no not really I don't think you really trust me no I don't try saying something that starts with you and ends in me I won't do that anyway. I can press disconnect. I can reconnect to it. And I'm just going to type in Star Wars. Push in the button. And we can watch the uh, ASCII movie. Star Wars made out of um, characters and what have you. And this is The New Hope. So when the text is finished, we should see some animation happen. So there's a text scan up. And we'll have a look at the animation. Obviously C three PO and that's R two D two. We're getting shot at, I think, by stormtroopers. There's a C three PO again. Right, that was a quick look at getting the Amiga online. Browsing websites and looking at Telnet and watching the movie. I've been Retro Gamer JL. I will say 73s. Cheers and beers, and I'll catch you next time. Subscribe for more retro gaming goodness, and I'll catch you next time. 73s. Cheers and beers.